it's almost feel like midterms a little bit. What do you, so you mean? In the sense of how much has your team improved since South Carolina? Uh, it's game four, so how much have we gotten better since the last game? That's how we look at it. How much was Mike able to do this week? Did he have any setbacks? Yeah, no, he's good. I mean, he had some muscular soreness, which you expect, but uh, from an injury standpoint, he's completely healed. So he's just getting back into football shape. But he looked really good in practice. You expect him to play this week? Yeah, I do. Do you think he'll start, or are you still leaving that up in the air? Yeah, he'll probably just rotate. Um, for sure, have a three-man rotation at corner. Well, what about Dexter? Questionable. Okay. Did he? How much was he able to do this? Not week? much. Not much. Mm -mm. Did he get? Is he trending at least in the right direction? He is. Or is he? No, he is. You've been using urgency as a theme. Maybe not this week as much, but you know how. how week one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, does it does it come back at all for Florida State? I mean, all the things that we talk about are, are always present. You know, I mean, all of our core values are present all the time. But this week, it's been about faith and trust in the plan, trust in your ability, and trust in your training to go make the plays that are there to make and finish it. You mentioned looking at high school film a little bit on Blackman, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit in addition to knowing what Jimbo does a little bit. Do you feel like you've got a good handle on what what the he what he potentially can do and what they will do with him, or still don't know? No, I mean, look, he's been coached by Jimbo since he's got on their campus. I mean, he's going to be a better player than he was in high school, and they're going to run their system like they have with every quarterback that's played prior. And how much they run them, we'll have to see and adjust during the game. Like I've talked, they've had 21 days off, and so. I know they haven't been preparing for us the entire time, but they've been preparing without their quarterback being healthy. So, you know, what they're going to do with them is a game of adjustments for us on defense, and we'll have to react and talk about it on the sideline and see what they're going to do. Do you look back and see what they did with Francois in game one or Jameis Winston in game one, just to see what their trend was uh, with a rookie quarterback? Not really. I mean, we, I think it was two years. Or last time we were down there, they had the Notre Dame transfer kid in there, and. He yanked him and then put the other guy in, and he threw the ball over the place, you know, and he hadn't played in a long time. So, like I told the defensive kids, they're going to run their offense. I mean, I know they believe in their quarterback. They wouldn't have recruited him. They have good players around them. So, you got to stop what Florida State does, and they're going to attack the perimeter and the edges like they always do and try to run by you and run reverses and use their stretch plays and their bend back plays. And you got to stop what they do, and you got to make the plays that are there to make. What difference do you see with Darren James in their secondary? You know, it's just one game. They played him all over the place. You know, he was lined up at the nickel. He was lined up at linebacker in their dime package, and he was lined up at safety in their base defense. So they move him around. He's obviously able to handle a lot of things mentally, which is impressive. And I'm not sure, you know, if he'll do that against us or not. But anytime you see a kid that can do so many things, it's impressive as a coach. You mentioned on Monday <clears throat> you'd like to see the payoff for the players, mm -hmm. the work that they've put in to, to pick up a win like this. Do you feel like in year five that you need the, the payoff of a, of a signature win like this, a win over a ranked team like this? That would be great, you know, to have that for the program. But to me, it's all about the players and, the, you know, the work that they put in. I mean, that's what we just talked about for four years. They've been fighting to get themselves in position to win games like this, and it's time to go win one. You know, we'd love to see them do it, and that would be the pleasure I take from the win would be seeing their faces and feeling their emotion in the locker room afterwards. But it's not about me, and uh, I'm going to be fine. I mean, I've been a part of Signature Wins as a coach. It's about these kids that have given us everything they got for four years that are seniors that don't get to play Florida State ever again and letting them walk out of that game feeling right. I mean, that's what it's about to me. How'd the guys do with the simulated crowd noise this week? Uh, the first day there were some issues, and after that, you know, yesterday and today was much better.